Hey, what's up guys, Lukubuki here, finally bringing you guys the long-awaited Q&A. I apologize for my lack of videos once again. I was supposed to come out with this video last Tuesday, but I ran into a bunch of annoying computer problems, and I was also supposed to have another video out by now, so I apologize for that. Don't worry, I'm gonna be on my A game this next month. As long as I don't run into more stupid computer problems or anything, I'll be set. First things first, I'd like to congratulate Bagel for winning the unusual. There were about 600 comments, and I used a website to pick a random comment, and Bagel was the winner. I want to give a big thank you for everyone who entered the giveaway, and those of you who gave me really kind words in your questions. I'm not going to be able to get to all of the questions, just simply because there are so many of them. I calculated it, and it would take me like four hours to answer all the questions, and you know, no one's gonna want to watch a four-hour video, you know? <laughs> so, I cut it down, and I'm going to answer around probably 50 questions, if that's reasonable. I went ahead and sorted all the comments into three different categories. The order of the categories are TF2, YouTube, and Personal. Question number one is when did you start playing TF2, and what is your favorite aspect of the game? I started playing TF2 back in the summer of 2011, as soon as I heard the game went free to play. That makes it so I've played the game for five and a half or so years now. One of my favorite aspects of TF2 is just how awesome the mobility is. Soldier is just so fun to rocket jump around with, and it's just such a cool mechanic. And Scout runs super fast and double jumps. You know, these are my two favorite classes, not surprisingly. I really love fast, easy mobility. I mean, Soldier isn't really easy, but you know, it's easy after some practice. What was your first TF2 alias? My first alias, I've been through a few, but my very first one was Teleporting Fat Guy in reference to the old Smosh video from 2008. Why do I main Scout and do I main any other classes? I really love Scout because of both his mobility and how awesome Scattergun meat shots feel. The awesome feeling of getting scattergun meat shots used to haunt me when I was playing Highlander Scout. Like, I would literally, like, I'm such a fucking nerd. I would, like, go to bed thinking about just, like, the feeling of shooting people with the scattergun. As I mentioned before, my other main is Soldier. What was your first choice of a main? When I first started playing TF2, I was really fascinated with the class Engineer. This is really fucking funny because Engineer is probably, like, my least played class now. I feel like whenever I play Engie now, I just get, like, killed by a soldier or something. But I guess my very first class that I made was probably Scout slash Sniper. I used to play a ton of Sniper before I got sick of them. Little fun fact is the only Hale's own weapon I have is a Sniper Rifle. What's your least favorite class? My least favorite class to play is probably either Engineer or Pyro. For whatever reason, I just can't have fun playing those two classes. What do you hate playing against the most in TF2? Probably my least favorite class to fight, especially since I main Scout, is Engineer. What do you think is the best Scout map? Although it's not official, in my opinion, the best map to play Scout on, or at least my favorite one to play Scout on, is Koth Asheville, just because of how fun it is to navigate around. What is my favorite map? My favorite map is probably Hightower, just because of the memories I have on that map when I was new to the game. It used to be like the only map I ever played. I just played Skyle 24-7, 32-player Hightower. <laughs> that was like my TF2 experience for probably like two years straight. And my favorite serious map is Koth Asheville. And also, do I cap on Hightower? The answer is no, unless it's casual, and it's been like 40 minutes and I'm really getting sick of the map. Do you have any advice for getting better at Scout? Um, probably the two most important things about Scout is mobility, also going hand in hand, like knowing when to engage enemies and when to back off, and also DM skills, knowing how to aim and how to engage enemies properly. If you haven't seen it, I'd recommend watching the tutorial I've made on Scout, and stay tuned for more of those to come. What are my newcomer tips and uh, noob traps to prevent in my opinion, for a scout. Um, I would say limit yourself on how much you engage enemies. Don't get overly aggressive. I used to do that a ton when I played scout, and when I got into competitive meta, I found myself surviving for much longer and getting many more kills per life. How many hours do you have in TF2, and how long did it take you to get there? As of recording, I have 3,130 hours in TF2, and this took me about five years. 
I used to idle way back in the day, so I'd say probably a few hundred of these hours or less are from that. But you know, I've played for five years, and it's also worth mentioning that I don't really play that much video games. I play probably like, lately, like a max of two hours a week. And, you know, there's some oddball occasions where I get into a game with friends such as GTA and we play for a few hours. But typically, I only play for like probably less than two hours a week just because I'm so focused on other stuff such as working on YouTube videos. Have I ever played TF2 competitively? The answer to that question is yes, very briefly. I got started in Highlander playing Scout and I started out in Steel Division, which is second to worst, and I was going to work my way up and go straight to Silver from that season, but then just things in real life and also definitely YouTube came in the way of that and I just didn't really have time to play competitive. I really like to focus mainly on YouTube when it comes to TF2. How did playing competitive change my game sense? Well, playing competitive really made me stay alive much more. I learned to be not so aggressive and not go for crazy picks that I could not pull off. I play more passive now, and as a result, I end up getting many more kills per life. Which class do you consider more important in the competitive scene, Medic or Demoman? This is a really tough question because these two classes are perhaps the two most important, but I'd probably say Medic. It's really hard to imagine competitive TF2 with no Medics. I'm considering getting into competitive, but I'm not sure if I'm ready. What do you recommend? I think people generally agree that like around 300 hours is appropriate for wanting to get into competitive. Like honestly, it doesn't even matter really, but do keep in mind that websites like TF2 Center may have like a minimum amount of hours you must have to play. And speaking of TF2 Center, I really would recommend trying out TF2 Center if you have like friends who also want to get into competitive too. And that's it's a really great way to meet people and get better at that kind of playstyle. How I got into competitive was I basically just had friends who also wanted to get into competitive and they invited me onto the team and were like, hey, what class do you want to play? I was like, I'll play Scout. And we ended up just registering our own team on UGC and we had a blast. My biggest suggestion is find friends if you don't already have them who also want to get into competitive. What stupid things do you remember doing when you were a gibbous? I remember when I was new to the game, I used to love to go around playing Scout just using my melee weapon and just trying to get kills like that. I remember crafting the holy mackerel the second I unlocked the Sandman, and I just went around with that thing just smacking suckers with it. How long have you been trading for? Throughout the time I played TF2, I did a ton of low tier trading, starting with frying pans way back. I used to like buy them for one wreck and then sell them for two wreck. And then I moved on to things like paints and like genuine weapons. And I didn't end up getting into unusual trading until probably like a year ago. As soon as I saved up and got my Scorching Bombing run, I just kind of completely quit trading just because I just want to focus on YouTube. What is your favorite unusual effect and how many unusuals do you have? My favorite effect is Scorching Flames and I currently have one unusual. <laughs> how many unusuals have you unboxed? Well, a little fun fact about me is I've never unboxed a crate ever. In the five years I've played TF2, I've never unboxed a crate. And also in CSGO, you know, I've played CSGO since like 2012 and I've never unboxed a crate in that game either. It's just not my thing. If someone I was trading with had a trade ban, would I still trade with them? If the person had a trade ban, I'd immediately go and look at their Steam rep and their reputation on Backpack.tf to make sure that they're not a scammer. If they had a reputation for scamming, I would obviously not trade with them. The shit he'd be trading to me is probably something he stole, so you know, I don't want to get involved in that. How would you improve TF2? One thing I would really love to see in this game is more incentive to play. I would love it if they did more contract stuff, like just made it like a normal part of the game instead of doing campaigns, and I would also love it if you like got items or something for ranking up. And a more serious question, fuck, marry, kill, scout, spy, and heavy. Kill the scout, which is ironic because I'm a scout main, <laughs> uh, marry the heavy, and you know, give the spy a good fuck. Why not? Alrighty, moving on to channel questions. Why did you start doing YouTube? Was it someone who inspired you or did I always want to start a channel? Ever since I was probably like six or seven years old, I've fucking loved YouTube. I've done various non-TF2 YouTube shit in the past, and when I was a little kid, I always dreamed of being like a famous YouTuber. 
After experimenting a ton, I finally decided to try a TF2 channel. I had been watching TF2 channels on YouTube for years at this point, and my biggest inspirations were probably people like Lepter1 way back in the day, Star underscore, I just called him Star underscore, I'm sorry about that, Star, <laughs> uh, and like probably like Shibby2142. I experimented around with what I was doing, and I ended up really liking making these kind of like is it OP and like tutorial videos, and they've actually like done really well, so I've just stuck with them. Will I do new series in the future, and will I ever collab with other YouTubers? I certainly will do more series in the future, I have a couple things planned right now, and collab wise, I'd really like to collab with some YouTubers this year. Who is your favorite TF2 YouTuber and why? The first TF2 YouTuber I ever watched was Lepter1, and I must say, for a very long time, like basically fucking everyone, Star was my favorite TF2 YouTuber. When am I going to do a face reveal? If I ever like play like some sort of horror game or something, or something that I should use a webcam for, I'll go ahead and buy one. I don't even own one right now, so I that would be step one. I'd have to go and buy one. How have I grown so fast lately? Do I owe my success to anyone who I should credit? I think the reason why I've grown so quickly is just because informational videos do really well. My content right now isn't really personality driven so much, and just more so just like broad, appealing, informational videos. That isn't to say though that I won't branch out in the future, do more personal stuff, and yada yada. What do you plan on doing in the future? Other games wise, uh, honestly like TF2 is really the only game I play right now, other than like GTA 5, because my friends just bought GTA 5 just very recently, so they're very new to the game, and we've just been playing a ton. You know, I don't really want to do GTA 5 videos just because it's, YouTube is really oversaturated with them right now, in my opinion. I do own Overwatch, and I, I was totally willing to make Overwatch videos, but then I just tried the game, and to be completely honest, I just don't really like Overwatch. I paid 30 bucks for it when it was on sale around Christmas time, and Honestly, I've probably played it for like 30 minutes. I just can't get into it, honestly. Those were all my channel questions. Now, personal questions. Because I had older siblings and my parents really didn't like spending money on video games, I grew up playing a Nintendo 64 and I had like three games for it. I later got a GameCube and later a Wii. I've never had a PlayStation or an Xbox in my life and I got into PC gaming when I was around probably like nine years old just because I was like fucking sick of the Wii <laughs> and I wanted like an actual gaming experience. On the computer, I've talked about this in past videos, but on the computer I started out with Roblox <laughs> for like two years probably from like, or maybe a little bit longer, probably from like 2009 to, front to like 2011. And I also played the game Blockland, which you know, my intro has the Blockland noises if you didn't know where those noises were from. Do I play any other games? Uh, my most played games on Steam are TF2, Left 4 Dead 2, uh, GTA 5, and Counter-Strike. But out of those two games, TF2 and GTA 5 are like really like the only two games that I play um, frequently lately. Why did you call yourself Loogie Pookie? A friend of mine used to call me Loogie Pookie, and it stuck I guess. <laughs> what do I want to do after school, and do I want to pursue YouTube as a career? I'm currently undecided on what I want to do after I'm done with school, and I'm also not too sure if I ever want to pursue YouTube as a career. If I was doing something like Muzilk and just doing mainly just like live stuff, and I got like the same views as him, I would totally do that. But what I'm doing currently right now would certainly not get me food on the table and shit. And I just want to say real quick, thank you so much for sticking around, David, for this entire time and for your super kind words. My friend the Bonnies asked me a series of questions, so I'm gonna go through these really quickly because this video is getting long. What slash who inspired you to start YouTube? Kitty0706. If you had to remove one weapon, what would it be? Engineer. Favorite food? Pasta. Favorite weapon for each class? Scattergun, rocket launcher, degreaser, sticky bomb launcher, sandwich, uh... Wait, I didn't even finish this list. Uh... Eureka effect. Crusader's crossbow. Sniper rifle. Knife. I'm really original. Any funny stories you have to tell? Once my friend applied to be a sandwich artist for Subway, which is their term for sandwich maker, but he thought that he would actually like literally draw sandwich posters and shit for fucking Subway, and it was just the funniest thing in my entire life. What is your pet peeve, if you have any? 
I really hate the term pet peeve. Speaking of pets, do you have any? I have a newt named Swimmy. Who is your favorite video game company? Valve Software. Favorite movie? Uh, Star Wars Rogue One. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, or stick them in a stew. Um, recently I discovered a thing called whipped potatoes where you use a cake mixer and like really mash them up good with that. Like just like using a straight up mixer. It's basically just perfect mashed potatoes. That's what I'm into. Are you secretly an alien sent to infiltrate us humans and gain our knowledge? No. Waffles or pancakes? Pancakes. How many times do you cuss a day? A lot. What is your favorite kind of cereal and what kind of toothpaste do you use? Uh, my favorite kind of cereal is shit uh booberry like that special halloween shit and toothpaste uh i don't even like crest i don't even remember what i use what is your favorite meme uh probably the classic star wars uh episode 2 anakin line the i don't like sand that thing is just a fucking classic and my final question is a very 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 important question what is your favorite doritos flavor um, Jacked Ranch Dipped Hot Wings is my personal favorite. And that is my last question of this q and I really hope you guys enjoyed, and you got to get- you- you got to know me a little bit better. I can't say it enough, guys. Thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. When I started out, I never saw myself getting this far. Expect new videos coming very, very shortly. Have an awesome rest of your day or night. And peace out.